Well, tonight is an extremely special evening. People throughout this country and throughout the world are going to remember where they were on January 20th, 2009, the inauguration of Barack Obama as the 44th President of the United States. We here in Montana are very excited about this. It's time for change. We recognize that. We certainly have a big hole to dig out of. We think we have the right guy to pull us out of this hole. We know that it's not going to be easy. We know that it's not going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of time. But I think, given the endurance of the American people and the uh, want to and the skills that we have, that's going to happen. And so this is a, the start of something fresh and the start of something new, and we want to celebrate that. As a voter, and as a Democrat, and as a Montanan, it really does mean change. Uh, the, the policies and the processes and the procedures of the past just simply have not worked. And so it's time for new leadership, it's time for change, it's time to, to do things differently, to, do, to look at things in a different manner than we have in the past, and to approach them differently. And that's what we have in uh, President Obama and Vice President Biden. You know, 40 years to the day, Martin Luther King had his dream speech. And today, 40 years later, that dream speech came true. I'll be able to narrate that to my grandkids and say, hey, listen, you can be all you want to be because when Martin King said that he had a dream that one day this nation would rise up to the challenge, we have done that. And I'm sure that my grandkids will be able to rise up to the challenge, knowing that they can be what they want to be in this country. Today is historical. We have the first African-American president, and it, it, it means a lot to me because I know for sure he's part African from East Africa. I'm from West Africa, so it means a lot that we have an immigrant came into this country and made it made the American dream come true. It means a lot.